Hey guys, it's me, Nick, known as One Up Films, and today I am here with Plushy Nick. So yeah, today I'm gonna be reviewing and giving my thoughts on the SML movie known as Jeffy's 18th birthday and Jeffy's 19th birthday. And already when these, you know, when these movies came out, already there's controversial opinions ab about these movies, and honestly. Yeah, I actually see why people don't enjoy them. And I'm going to get right to it. So if any of you aren't familiar with what's going on, let's just say Logan, he did promise to make the SML movie six years ago. Yeah, that's right. Six years ago. Six years ago, he's been hyping up for this movie and for, you know, Jeffy's 18th bir birthday, and what do we get? A big fat disappointment. So, yeah, honestly, the SML movie, if you should call them that, Jeffy's 18th birthday and 19th birthday, were a big fat disappointment. So, yeah, I honestly did watch, you know, Jeffy's 18th birthday, and honestly, all right, there are, there are like, most parts that I don't like and some parts that I like. The cinematic shots and, you know, the original plot to it, it's it's pretty good and all right, but there is one problem with the video. It's the writing. And knowing Logan, he is a terrible writer. He is known as, you know, as the worst writer in SML. Logan, he isn't good at acting or writing. And look, I'm sorry if all of you SML fanboys are going to be very, you know, very offended of me criticizing Logan's, you know, writing and all of that, but let's be honest, Logan can't write anything. Even YouTubers and even other people and channels agree that Logan's writing is bad. Like for an example, there are videos that are lazy and filler and repetitive and have unfunny jokes and the list goes on and for real the SML movie known as Jeffy's 18th birthday was a bit disappointing it really was and honestly with Jeffy's 18th birthday it was a little disappointing for me I mean the filler was the filler was just underwhelming the filler is what ruined the video and the retcon writing as well. Like for example, literally the whole entire video is just them being in the house and all that and basically yeah, there was no adventure in the video at all. And literally when, you know, Mar Mario, known as Marvin, got kidnapped, literally no one even cared at all. Not even Rosalina or Jeffy. They didn't even care the slightest. And to top off the, you know, the shit cherry on the shit Sunday, well, let's just say Jeffy's dad, his death was retconned. So yeah, literally Logan retconned Jeffy's dad's death. So which means the years of waiting of Jeffy getting his money and moving out was for nothing. So Logan retconned Jeffy's dad's death just for a horrible, god-awful excuse to keep Jeffy. Logan. Not only that is manipulative and dishonest, that's just absolutely scummy. This is literally coming from the guy that literally said that if he would go back in time, he would never have added Jeffy. But nowadays, Logan's like, yeah, I'm not gonna, you know, get rid of Jeffy, guys. So yeah, if you guys don't like Jeffy, then yeah, if you, then if you don't like it, don't watch it and all that crap. That crappy, god-awful excuse. Logan, let's be real. You are out of touch with reality right now. You are still acting like a man-child, okay? You don't take anything seriously. The problems that Jeffy started, yeah, you just keep making more and more excuses to keep Jeffy. For real. The SML movie was literally the biggest and most hyped video you have, you know, teased us for the past years. And this is what you gave us. 
and it's really hard to just you know just to see how emotional these you know these scenes are in the movie because honestly you just don't feel anything at all because the characters obviously the characters don't care about each other and and all of a sudden Marvin just suddenly cares about Jeffy when basically Jeffy's mom just took him after literally Marvin said that you know that he you know he wants Jeffy to move out yeah for real Logan you did not build anything up for that at all like seriously the SML movie known as Jeffy's 18th birthday it did not gave the videos a big impact at all literally this is your most biggest video that you hyped up for years and nothing has you know changed or been impactful from the movie at all so yeah it was nothing but a filler and a retcon mess and for Jeffy's 19th birthday known as the SML movie 2 yeah the SML movie 2 I should say yeah like it, it did not even felt like a movie at all Logan do you know what a movie is? Okay. Jeffy's 19th birthday was very, very goddamn disappointing. I'm just gonna have to say that. It was really disappointing. That, that video was, it just felt like an ordinary SML video. And let's not forget that literally Logan retconned Jeffy's mom's death known as Nancy's death like for real they retcon Nancy's death <sighs> even though that she literally got shot in the forehead literally shot in the forehead like what is she the reverse flash or William Afton because Logan what kind of BS is this you literally brought back a you know a villain character that died and you're not gonna give a solid good explanation of how she survived. You know, what would have made that better is, you know, that Nancy survived because, you know, because because she actually, her skull is actually made out of gold because basically Nancy went to a, you know, went to a casino years ago and she b basically bet her, you know, her skull on a golden skull and basically, yeah, she forgot about it and when she got shot in the head, basically the, you know, the golden skull in her head basically prevented the you know bullet from killing her I think that would have been a better explanation than that and not to mention this video was absolutely rushed this video did not felt like a movie it did not even felt you know fit like 15 minutes long it felt like seven minutes that's that's how short this video felt and how rush it was and let's Let's not forget that literally, this is the same plot, Logan. You literally recycled the, the exact same plot from Jeffy's 18th birthday. For real, Logan. What kind of lazy sh is this? You for real just recycled the same plot and even Dab H Dude literally you know brought it up that it's the same plot and I agree with him it really is and Super Mario Nick I like for real he even agrees that this this so-called movie was a disappointment as well for real you brought back Nancy like for no reason like for real if, if you know okay if Jeffy's 18th birthday was shown that there would be a reason for Nancy to, to be brought back like for an example okay Okay, the cute Mario Bros. Okay, the cute Mario Bros. Their, you know, their cute Mario Bros. movies are actually creative. Like, for real, Kermit the Frog, he was the main villain of the movie. And then, basically, yeah, they decided to, you know, come up with a new villain for the next sequel, Gonzo. And, basically, yeah, they defeated Gonzo, or should I say, defeated him, quote-unquote, because... It showed at the end of the sequel that Gonzo survived for another sequel that they're going to be making a third one. So yeah, that's basically what you should have done, Logan. Maybe you should have shown that there would be a potential, like, there would be, like, a potential way for Nancy to be brought back for another sequel. Because honestly, yeah. 
you just you just literally retconned a death that showed no way that would you know that would have her at, be brought back as the main villain like what kind of bs is this logan tell me what kind of bs is this she's like william afton 2.0 and you don't even know your character's story at all. You don't know your characters that very well, Logan. You just retcon and make everything up for your characters. And that's just sad. Like for example, with the art competition video, if I'm you know remembering that video title right, okay, that was a very good video, but my main issue with that is literally Jacques-Pierre Francois, known as Jeffy's dad, was literally in the video and okay so Jeffy's dad wins several years in a row right but he was literally presumed dead for six years Logan you've completely forgotten your character's story like for real how would Jacques Pierre Francois would have won every year if he was presumed dead for the past six years that makes no sense Logan, you gotta make these videos more sense. You gotta know your characters and their story. Like for an example, like my character officer William, I know his story. Basically his father died, you know, at a trailer park during December of Christmas Eve in 2010 and Officer Williams really wanted to be a cop to fulfill his father's shoes and become, you know, a great cop just like his father. Basically, yeah, I know my character's stories, and even my character Frank, okay, the reason why he's dumb is because, okay, there's a reason why he's dumb. He's not, you know, he's not a mental disabled, you know, per, you know, character at all, just like Jeffy, okay? I actually came up with a reason for, you know, for Frank to be dumb, because in my, you know, Bowser Jr. Time Travels video, which is basically a time paradox video, where basically... You know, basically Kemic and Coop and Junior, they have changed some history. And they're actually the ones that are the reason why that, that a paradox happened. So basically, yeah. Basically Kemic used a spell to make, to make Frank dumb. So basically, yeah, that's how Frank became dumb in the first place. Because of Kemic's, you know, spell. And yeah, I, gave, I give explanations of my characters. Because... I know I want to know my characters and give them a good story, but Logan, you don't know your character's stories at all, which is the problem. You don't know their their stories and you don't know like what they've done and been through and you just take it for granted and just, you know, forgotten about it. Like that's the problem, Logan. You just don't care about stories anymore. And storytelling is very important. Like adding story to your videos it's what makes your videos special, you know? It's what spices things up. Like, for example, you used to do video series back then. But, I mean, you do, you know, still do a bit of video series like Jeffy Ball Z. I mean, that's an okay video series. But, Logan, I would suggest you would do more video series. Please do more video series. It would actually be really amazing if you do more video series. And I would really love it if you bring back the, you know, Junior Playtime, you know, series as well and the junior you know game night series as well like we would want video series to be, be coming back okay that's what we would like we don't want any more retcons or any filler or any repetitive jokes we want story we want we want a story that's truthful to its own characters like i love putting more more effort and care into my characters and their story and give them character development as well. And I have been coming up with ideas of what to do to give them some character development. Like, I'm thinking of giving Officer William some character development, and even Frank, and even my character, you know, Nick as well. I want to give them both character development. Like, I just don't want them to be, you know, just the same characters. Like, for real, if you keep reusing the formula, it gets stale. It becomes really stale that your characters, they're just, you know, bland and boring. And they're just uninteresting as well. Like, for example, Junior is just a bully. And Joseph is just a black stereotype. And Jeffy is just, 
is just the worst son to have. And yeah, and Rosalina is literally a dumb blonde stereotype that's literally the worst wife to have. So yeah, Jeffy's 18th birthday and 19th birthday, they didn't feel special at all. They were rushed and they had terrible retcon rioting and yeah, and nothing changed at all. And the, the plots were literally recycled. And of course, Logan, you used the Star Wars Death Star tactic as an excuse to avoid being criticized for your bad writing. Logan, do you think calling out your bad writing is going to pr prevent people from criticizing you? No. Because if you think that, that's just sad and pathetic. Like, for real, Logan, you should have uploaded the, you know, the actual Super Mario Logan movie when you had the chance before, you know, this whole entire Nintendo cease and desist letter nonsense, you know, happened. Because, honestly, the original plot and story to the original movie sounded a lot way better than what we actually got. And, hell, if the movie would have been, you know maybe 40 or 50 minutes or even an hour long then that would definitely be great because that's actually what a movie is logan if a movie is 50 like 50 minutes long or an hour long then yeah you got yourself a movie voila there you go but yeah just don't rush your video or even make any filler at all okay you know yeah, Jeffy's 18th birthday was a filler mess, and and Jeffy's 19th birthday, literally the pacing was all over the place. The pacing is okay, but the rest of the pacing was just, yeah, it just made this video felt lazy and rushed. So yeah, Logan, I have an actual better idea for the SMO movie too, and what you should have done. So Logan, if you would, if you would ever make an SMO movie 3, Okay, please, okay, hire me to actually be your writer, because honestly, I'll do it for free. I would really do it for free, Logan. Just hire me as a writer for the SML Movie 3, because I would be gladly to actually write for it for you, you know? I would actually do, like to, you know, to help around with it. But yeah, I even made myself my own idea for the SML Movie 2, which took me 30 minutes to write. Yeah, 30 minutes. So yeah, Logan, you just had trouble with, you know, with coming up with a plot and story for the SML Movie 2. That's not an excuse at all, Logan. Not an excuse. Like, you should have planned for this movie, you know, way ahead, like before, you know, August. Like, you should have, you know, planned for this way ahead. Because I plan for my videos, you know, before I even start making them. Because, honestly, it's better to do it, you know, to come up with something now than later. Like, for an example, I, I am coming up with an actual special video series for October. And even a Halloween you know, special as well, if I can manage to. So, yeah, I am planning on doing something for this channel. And I hope you guys are excited for it. And how Logan, you even said that you were proud of, of this, you know, of this video, and you even advertised that this would be a movie. You said that it would be bigger and better, but yeah, no. You completely lied to us at this moment. You lied to us all. This movie did not felt bigger or even better. Literally, it felt short as hell, and it like even the writing and the plot felt was literally recycled from from Jeffy's 18th birthday. Same plot and the video was was rushed. So yeah, Logan, you're just lying to yourself at this moment. But anyways, yeah. I even wrote my own version of, you know, of Jeffy's 19th birthday. My own version of the SML movie too. Like Logan, yeah. Just cuz you did not have any time to make this mo movie, like, yeah, just because you said that you put, that you put some budget into this, doesn't mean that, that it has a lot of effort to it, okay? So, yeah, you saying that you put a lot of effort into this, yeah, no, you are just lying to yourself again, because, 
okay, putting a budget into this, you know, so-called movie doesn't count as as effort, okay? And you, if you guys want to know what my my idea for the SML movie two is, okay, here's my idea. Okay, so yeah, for my idea, make the SML movie maybe fifty minutes long or something like that. And yeah, all right. And my idea is that Jeffy has an unknown uncle, an unknown uncle that. Okay, I'll show the design of Jeffy's unknown uncle right here. So I think it would be a cool idea to just give Jeffy an uncle that he never kn known about for so many years. Like for example, like Jeffy has grandparents for crying out loud that we never knew about. So I think it would be cool just to give Jeffy an uncle as the next main villain of the SML movie too. So yeah. So yeah, basically Jeffy's uncle is related to Nancy. And Nancy is basically Jeffy's uncle's sister and and Jeffy's uncle always hated Nancy and and wanted to, you know, get Jeffy's father's, you know, money and basically, yeah, and wanted to do a better job than Nancy did. So basically he came up with the idea to basically kidnap Jeffy and his friends for a ransom. But for in order to do that, he has to hire professional kidnappers that knows how to steal children. So he hires Mr. Winkle and Screwball to kidnap Jeffy and the children. So Screwball and Mr. Winkle had four attempts to break in the house to kidnap Jeffy, but failed. So basically, they came up with the idea to to steal the bus for you know for their last final plan, and so they basically stole the bus and kidnapped Jeffy and the others, and and then they drove off to Jeffy's uncle's house. And for them to be able to you know to basically get Jeffy on the bus is that basically Screwball and Mr. Winkle they basically popped Jeffy's car tire so they could so the plan would work. So they managed to get, get Jeffy on the boss, bus and basically they managed to successfully kidnap him and the others. And then Jackie Jew warns Marvin and Rose what happened so they they panicked and called the cops and then Brooklyn Guy and Simmons were on the lookout and saw the bus kidnapping, kidnapping children so they chased after them. They have a car chase scene, cause I mean, yeah, the car chase scene. I think Logan should definitely keep that. That 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 was actually kind of the only good part of the of the movie. So yeah. So yeah, Mr. Winkle gets out a gun and starts shooting Broken Guy and Simmons, and then Penelope tries to stop Mr. Winkle, and Broken Guy rammed the bus, and Mr. Winkle punched Penel Penelope off of him for trying to stop him. And then Screwball and Mr. Winkle got away from Brooklyn and Simmons. Then Bro Brooklyn Guy and Simmons try to track where the bus went. Meanwhile, they take Jeffy and the others to his uncle's place. And Jeffy's uncle explains his scheme and his plan to use Jeffy for ransom to take his father's money. So Jeffy's uncle calls Marvin and Rose that they have Jeffy. And he wants them to get... Jeffy's father, Jacques Pierre Francois, to negotiate and give him the money or else he'll kill them. So Marvin and Rose started driving off to Jacques Pierre Francois's place to convince him to saving Jeffy, but Jacques Pierre Francois did not care at all and told them to get lost. And then Jacques Pierre Francois and then okay, so Marvin and Rose basically came up with the idea to to tell Jacques Pierre Francois, if he saves Jeffy and the kids, it would basically help help his reputation and his his art career. Cause Jacques Pierre Francois actually cares about being an artist and convincing him and it would definitely convince him to, you know, save Jeffy and the others, which I actually, you know, I actually put more thought into that because yeah, because honestly that is definitely what Jeffy's father would definitely do. Like he doesn't care about Jeffy at all, but he cares about art. So basically, yeah, convincing him to being, you know, like convincing Jacques Pierre Francois to basically saving Jeffy and the others for, you know, to help his art career, like for him being known as the artist that basically saves and 
and you know protects children's lives would definitely help his art career a lot so yeah Jacques Pierre Francois just cares about his art career than anyone else so yeah and then meanwhile Jeffy Jeffy's uncle locked Jeffy and the others in the basement and they have to figure a way like figure out how to escape so Junior and Joseph found a half open window and convinced Cody to do it and then Cody did not want to but but Junior and Joseph decided to you know to convince Cody that that if he does it he'll be the hunkiest dude of all time so basically yeah, it would definitely you know give give Cody the motivation to get through the window to tell him that he'll be hunk he, he'll be the hunkiest guy ever so basically yeah Cody managed to do it to prove everyone that he's hunky and then managed to escape and run for help like yeah so yeah Cody managed to escape and run to get help and meanwhile broken broken guy and and Simmons were still tracking down the bus and then they found Cody and then Cody told them where they are and told broken like told broken guy his daughter was even kidnapped so broken guy immediately got back into the car to drove fast so he could save his daughter Penelope then they arrived at Jeffy's uncle uncle's place and got out their guns and then Jeffy's uncle grabs Jeffy and holds him at gunpoint to make the cops drop their guns when they were at a standoff Marvin and Rose arrived with Jacques Pierre Francois by tracking Jeffy's phone to find where they are where they are and then Jeffy's uncle realizes if he kills Jacques Pierre Francois Jeffy gets the money so he'll take Jeffy for himself so he starts firing at them and Broken Guy and the others you know got down and Broken Guy and Simmons start you know started firing back with their guns at them and then Mr. Winkle and Screwball decided to you know to dip and run out of there like cowards so they escaped then Jeffy's uncle started started throwing a grenade at the cop car and exploded it and Simmons was down and so was Brooklyn guy and Jeffy's uncle had Brooklyn guy at gunpoint and then shot Bro Brooklyn guy then Jeffy's uncle was about to kill Marvin and Rose next but but Brooklyn guy shot Jeffy's uncle in the forehead Brooklyn guy survived from you know from the gunshot because he had a bulletproof vest on him because there's no way in hell we we're gonna let Brooklyn guy die hell no but yeah, that would be a way better, you know, like, fake-out death than, you know, than the recycled fake-out death during the explosion. So yeah, Logan, keep in mind with that. Alright, then they got the kids and Jeffy out, and Jeffy finally got to meet his father, Jacques-Pierre Francois, and asked Jeffy if he could spend time with him and maybe get to know him, but Jacques-Pierre Francois said, Um, uh, maybe when you're 70 years old. And then Jean-Pierre Francois leaves while while he snark laughs because he's going to tell the news he saved the children and everyone and take the credit for it. Then Mario and the other, then Marvin and the others, you know, went home and they decided to go out to celebrate Jeffy's birthday. The end. So yeah, Logan, this is my plot and story for the SML movie too. Literally, this took me 30 minutes to write and make. Okay, not trying to brag or anything like that, but yeah, that's basically how how I write my stuff because I know my characters better, and I want to give more story and thought to this. And yeah, that's what basically that's what creativity and effort is. Basically, you know, putting more you know more thought into the plot and story, and basically getting to know your characters. That's what effort is. Not just to blow off your money on, you know, on one video. That, that doesn't count as effort, Logan. It doesn't count as effort at all. So basically, yeah, this is my original idea for the movie. And it took me 30 minutes to write this. But anyways, yeah. I, I just don't know. I'm just going to give Jeffy's 18th birthday 5.5 out of 10. And for Jeffy's 19th birthday, 6.5 out of 10. Because for real. 
this was literally the laziest video, like, the laziest movies that I've ever seen. And hell, even people brought up that literally Junior Goes to Disney World Part 1 and 2 are longer than the actual SML movies themselves. Logan. Put more effort into the movies next time, okay? Because she's Louise. Seriously. Logan, you can't just expect calling, you know, calling this a ma like a cinema masterpiece. Like, hell, seriously, these, these, okay. Jeffy's 18th birthday and 19th birthday, they aren't, you know, Puss in Boots Last Wish, okay? They aren't that good of, of movies, okay? They're not a cinema masterpiece, okay? Because they have a lot of flaws to them. And honestly, Logan, it's just really sad that you're trying to prevent people from bringing up the flaws with these movies. And that's not going to stop us from bringing it up, because, Logan, no matter what, these movies are still lazy. They're rushed and filler, and they have so many retcon writing. Like, Logan, put more effort into them. Put more story into it. Come up with an original plot and story. Like, for real, get to know your characters as well. It's not that hard, for crying out loud. <sighs> but anyways, yeah. This is basically what I think about the SML movie 1 and 2, known as Jeffy's 18th birthday and 19th birthday. They really aren't that good, and honestly, if Logan ever does an SML movie 3 for Jeffy's 20th birthday, Logan, please, put more work and effort into them. Okay? It's not that hard. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And basically, yeah, more video projects are going to be coming pretty soon. And I will also be live streaming pretty soon to celebrate, you know, reaching up to 1K subscribers. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. Like, I really appreciate it, guys. Like, me and, you know... <laughs> And Wolf Nick, we really appreciate it. But yeah, thank you guys for helping me reach up to 1K subscribers. And basically, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And I'll see you guys next time. And goodbye.